Welcome to the Chris Variants. Today, unboxings, mail call, and more. Welcome back to the Chris Variants. It's Chris here. I uh, just wanted to get th uh, through some uh, unboxings, some collectibles we got in here recently, right before our kind of major uh, SDCC haul, and uh, it's actually pretty epic this year. We uh, spent a lot of money on it, so uh, but we're happy. We everything we wanted, we got. Um, so pretty, pretty stoked about that. So um, let's get into the mail call that we've gotten in so far this week. Um, in the last one of the last videos, I mentioned we got the Dark Side in, and we found them at Walgreens, and you know we went ahead and pre-ordered them at uh, the Funko Shop. Well, we got him in, and he looks good. Looks really good. Just no Walgreens sticker, but that's okay. Still nice little mint box, but now we have two. Um, so uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with it just yet. So we'll we'll figure that out later. So, but uh, Dark Side Anakin. So we got a duplicate there. Uh, next uh, is from uh, Pop in a Box, and we got the Harry Potter uh, Lord Voldemort exclusive. Again, we're fans of all genres, and you know just. Harry Potter is another one, uh, and Voldemort looked pretty wicked in it, with the snake around him and his wand. So uh, the snake is just draped all through him, and it actually looks like it goes, you know, just goes around his cloak. So really cool looking pop. Uh, pretty stoked to have it. Uh, again, shipping came in great condition. So uh, the next one is. Um, I mentioned that I got uh, one of the last videos that I got a, a pop in that was in pretty beat condition. So um, we uh, called, it was actually the Disney Park exclusive Rocket Raccoon. Um, and it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's really dinged up here pretty bad. Um, so we called them, they said, hey, we're going to send you another one, give this one away. Uh, I have a friend of mine's uh, daughter is going to be receiving this because she's a big Rocket Raccoon fan. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set that over there, I guess. But here's the mint condition. It came in way better condition than the last one. The last time they just put a little bit of bubble, uh, not even bubble wrap, it was just bubble pockets and, and it just got beat. But this one came in better. Uh, I love this one because it's actually, if you see, he's got that blue Walkman. And it's actually the scene from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 where uh, he goes and booby traps against, uh, sets all the booby traps off against the Ravagers. So, really cool looking pop. Uh, this is from the mission breakout of the Guardians of the Galaxy ride there. So, just knew we had to have it. So, uh, the last pop uh, we got in, uh, GameStop exclusive. Uh, the Star Wars anime series, uh, Bob Boba Fett, uh, <laughs> such a good looking pop, it really is. The funny thing about this pop is just, I remember the anime series just being goofy. It was just, and even the color schemes were pretty goofy on it too. Uh, but anyways, here it is. Uh, the paint scheme's different than the original. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking pop, so. Okay, so the next thing I kind of wanted to box is uh, something we got in the mail. I guess I need to take these down because as you see there, we have the Infinity Gauntlet. Well, wasn't expecting it to come in so soon because I think they told us October, but, uh, but it came in this week. And that is the Infinity Gauntlet from Endgame. It has the mechanical sounds, pretty cool. It has, so if that's left right-handed, this is left-handed, let's see if we can't do this. Oh. You can hear with this one, it has like kind of like gears and grinding and stuff like that. You know, this one has the more of the mechanical, not only with the Iron Man, uh, the, the suits and stuff like that. Really cool. We have them both now. So, pretty awesome. So. And. There we go. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, last but not least, uh, my brother and sister hooked me up, uh, surprised me with a, uh, uh, on Prime Days they had a Star Wars boxes that were going uh, on sale, and this is the Smuggler's Box. I actually have no idea what's on this. I really hardly ever get on to Amazon at all. Uh, much less the boxes unless my brother gets them and kind of lets me know what's in them. Um, I don't remember uh, him ever, me and him ever talking about it. So this is all kind of new to me. So let's see here. So again, this is the Smuggler's Box, Smuggler's Bounty, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Okay, um, after kind of figuring out, I'd started off to figure out how to open it. Figure it out, so here we go, so. Oh. Okay, so first little mystery mini. Well, I guess it's not mystery, I guess it's gonna be of Chewbacca. Let's see, let me make sure. I don't know why they kill it mystery mini if they already have the picture of what's gonna be on there, but. They <laughs> package them in black, I guess. Just still a mystery. Uh, let's see here. Come on. All right. Oh my god, that is so cool. If you could see that, that is Chewbacca, right? Carrying C3PO. So uh, that is from Empire. So, pretty cool. Is that from Empire? So that's from Empire. Uh, really cool looking bobblehead. So, even, yeah. Let's go. Let's see if he's good. Let's see if he has him there. Probably not. It's kind of so much going on in the background there. Um, and while we're doing all this too, uh, we're in the we are getting kind of to the completion stage of the pop studio. So again, we'll have a new I'll have a new home hoop soon. I hope. Um, so yeah. So oh, this right here is cool. This Lando keychain that is V A. That right there is awesome. This is definitely going on a keychain. Uh, that is cool. Billy D. Williams, original Lando, some Coke 45. So, yeah, that's awesome. That is going on the keychain. Uh, probably gonna go. I have two sets of keys: uh, one work keys and one uh, my car keys. My car key has a, a pop keychain of Macho Man, so these are going on my work keychain. So that's awesome. Actually, keep that right there. Oh, no way. Whoa. That is so sweet. Let me see if I can get this out. Oh my God. He's frozen in carbonite. It's a moment. Ah. Uh, trust me, it's great. See, it doesn't do it justice in this thing, so we are opening this. Holy man, that is so sweet. The movie, movie moments, I really don't think they should really be boxed. They're just so cool. I think the kind of diorama with them, they, I think they need to be breathing. Uh, plus, the boxes are big and junk, junky, or not junky, janky. So, really kind of hard. Oh my god. Holy mackerel. Ooh, whoa, oh. that is total best movie moment ever. Fro Han frozen in the carbonite, being led by Boba Fett. I guess it goes this way, because as you can see, you can see the Star Wars emblem there. Oh, like the bobblehead on it, that is so, so cool. I think this is the best movie moments 
that I've seen. I think that is the best. You know, I have a few, we have a few. I think we have an Aladdin one. We have uh, an Avengers one. Uh, so um, I think there's a couple more. But um, yeah, that right there is the best. I still think like the movie moments, like they can capture movie movie moments like this is great, and they've got they've gotten some good ones. But, like, this is just iconic in that movie. Um, so, wow. That is awesome. That is being displayed like that. That is not going back in that box. I can just tell you that right now. So, um, yeah. That is super cool. Yeah. Let me get the box. yeah. So... Um, wow, so that's pretty awesome. I uh, was not expecting that, so I really give a big shout out to my brother, si uh, brother and sister, Shannon and Adam. Uh, this is really the best movie moment uh, that I've seen. So, and, oh yeah, we got a whole bunch of other Star Wars movie moments, I believe, too. So, uh, but especially out of all the ones that Walmart did and stuff like that, this is still the best one. Absolutely the best one. If you're not following the YouTube channel, please like and subscribe, click the notifications. Uh, I'm gonna have a, a big SDCC uh, kind of review of my haul, uh, and a pretty good uh, surprise. I think it's gonna come in that video. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna do a giveaway. A giveaway is coming. Um, probably uh, I'm gonna do a hundred subscriber giveaway. Uh, so we'll go. Uh, I'll figure out what I'm gonna give away. But you know, stay tuned for that. Just please share and. I'm just sharing my love of the Funko Pops and you know, all things that's cool. Uh, again, this channel is not just about Funko Pops and collectibles. It's a lifestyle channel of what I like to do when I go through. Just did finish, uh, you know, we just had the first hot pot, you know, an Asian hot pot. It was delicious. Uh, first time I've gotten experience something like that. Um, we're going to, uh, uh, you know, do lots of things in that, in that nature too. So um, just stay tuned, uh, but there will definitely be more of this. And I promise you, uh, again, pop room. Actually, it's right behind that door, right? Um, it's a mess. Like, there's boxes of boxes of pops that I have yet to do because I had to build the shelves. So that's something that we're going to be doing. That is going to be epic. I have so many pops right now that it's not all going to fit in there. That's the reason why you see this. <laughs> Our little makeshift in-game area, our Avengers with the Boss Logic poster. Yeah, there you go and then the infinity war poster right there um and shoot, well, i'm not gonna show you that because it's the best over there but there is a whole bunch of pops right over here and i got a batman animated series uh kind of shelf going on over here uh i see pops everywhere <laughs> so uh it's an addiction but it's a good addiction so um yes so we'll see you guys on the flip side Stay tuned uh, for the giveaway and see you in the next video.